Alrighty, so what we're going to be talking about is lists. Lists are what you think of in standard you know, HTML. Uh, there's unordered, ordered lists. These here, I would say, are more of the unordered nature, though obviously as you use them in your website, you're going to want to put them in a more strategic uh, type of uh, spot because you're not going to have a list and have maybe delete at the top, then you know go to the next page, be the second item. You're going to want to strategize how you group your information together for your user. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this stuff on over. Usually I have it set up, but I also hate semicolons. So these are the things that you're going to need. Feel free to get them from the documentation, or you could just pause and then add these in as such. I recommend for anyone doing tutorials, because I've done a zillion, I've watched a zillion more, it's better just to pause and just type along to get that muscle memory built. If you're new, or if you've been doing this for a while, you know, then you just copy and paste some stuff on over if you're confident. So, making a list is relatively easy. So, let's make our parent component here, which is just a list. Okay, that save moves that on over. And let's make our first list item, and it's as easy as it sounds. And then we're going to give the attribute of a button because we're going to want to click on something. And stealing this straight out of the example that Material UI provides, let me go ahead and save this. And we see right here that we have this icon. When you hover over it, it gives you kind of a, a cool, neat little, you know, gray or yeah, gray rectangular area showing that if you click anywhere in here, you know, you're clicking on this list uh, item, which is a button. All right. Actually, I think I skipped one thing. List item icon. Let me wrap this in here. When I was looking at that, I was like, wait, I think I was missing a step. All right, sweet. So now we have this in here. And what we're going to want to add as well is we're going to want to have some form of text because sometimes, you know, a picture does enough, but you can't always assume that a picture alone does enough, especially when there's different languages, cultures, different ways that people access your work, right? And so we're going to come down here right after the list item icon. We have the list item text right here. And this is kind of uh, funny here. Once again, stealing this straight from the documentation box. And so this is kind of interesting here because primary what we have seen before, uh, you know, you're thinking of like the color when you have like a variant, right? And so this is kind of kind of tripped my brain up when I saw this. I was like, wait, I've seen primary. Is there a secondary? And so that to me is just kind of an interesting naming convention. We could also name this, you know, drafts. We have drafts right here. We're going to keep it as inbox because to that makes the most sense. That would go at the top of the hierarchy if you are doing something reflecting, you know, email. And so we're just going to keep that there. And let's go ahead and add another item here. And I want to show something. So we're going to break this up. We're going to scroll down, assuming that you've taken care of everything at the top here. We're going to scroll down here and let's do drafts. And then we're going to use a different icon. Let's do the drafts icon. Save that. Awesome. But there's going to come an issue where you're like, well, okay, so I have, you know, grouped items here, but what if I want to, you know, show some visible separation between a grouping up here and maybe some other buttons down here? Well, that's pretty easy to do as well. We're going to use a thing called a divider. And it's probably the easiest thing you can make. Bam. Now you have this line right here. It's kind of like your horizontal line from HTML as well. Except it's, you know, has all the, the cool stuff. It um, stretches out and stretches according to the width of the page. And is, you know, pretty fluid and stuff like that. 
So if you wanted to come down into here as well, you don't necessarily have to, you know, have icons for everything, right? So what we could do is we could remove the list uh, item icon and the drafts icon, and we could just have text here. And it's still a button as we see this list item is a button here. So we could have this primary text be anything like college FAFSA info. And you could click on this just as much. And so other things you could do, uh, you, could, you could play around with is you could change the icons out. You could switch around, you know, the, the, the text and then the icon. You could even nest lists inside of lists. So when you bring this up, you'll have a list here, but then you'll have something that forms down here as well. Nothing different from standard HTML if you've worked with that prior to seeing this video. Same kind of logic there, but yeah, this is how they do lists, and it's pretty cool.